It's insane. It's amazing. <laughs> Um, my name's Jolie. Um, it is January 7th, 2021, and I'm here doing the retreat. This is my first day of the retreat. Hi. How are you feeling? All right, a little nervous. Just um, not sure what to expect exactly. With that, I want to ask you, why are you here? Um, well, ultimately to get closer to God, but I feel like it's Him leading me here, like that's led me here. And if it wasn't that, I'd feel like I was going crazy. Just one thing after another, like, has just brought me to this point, I feel like. Yeah, like what? Tell me what's going on, Tom. Well, it, it started off this year, um, I came into 2020, um, on pharmaceuticals that I was dependent on. And um, through the shutdown, I was able to, to purge all of big pharma out of me. And, um, and that was a big deal. That was a big thing because I had about a better part of a decade just being stuck in a, and I didn't like it the whole, entire time. So it was, it was really just needing the opportunity to, to have time to be able for my body to get off these medications and to be able to process and um, you know normally you can't do that when you have work and you have kids and um, so so that was a great thing and um, and from there I started studying supplements and um, essential oils and um, like holistic medicine or natural natural ways of just just being and feeling better and um, so from there I am um, I was still depressed. I was still getting depression um, here and there. I I would call it most of my life anxiety for most like my entire life that I can remember. I've always had a lot of like debilitating anxiety, um, really bad social anxiety, um, like on a daily basis just to, to leave the house, to be able to get to work and, and function around people is really, really difficult for me. I mean, it really takes, if people could only see the process that I do just to leave, you know, just to go out the door. And it has changed a lot since I'm, I'm not taking anti-anxiety medication anymore. You know, I have to find a, a natural way to, you know, to be okay. Mm. Well, um, after, and then after coming off the medicine, just um, just struggling, it made me feel just depressed. Like I was in this dark place I couldn't get out of. And I, you know, was trying so many different things that I thought this would be the answer. This will be the thing. Uh, right, yeah, I could, I could recognize the problems, but I still didn't know what to do about them. I could see, okay, this is what's broken. And then when, when it gets, and it gets uncomfortable, you get, I got angry. I could see all these things about myself that I didn't like, but um, I couldn't figure out how to fix them still. There's, you know, little, little tips and pointers, but it's, um, it still didn't take care of the problem. It didn't get rid of it. Um, I read it. I'm rereading it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I I began reading it um, around the time I was I was feeling depressed, and um, it was like everything just started clicking just where um, just so perfectly. And I would read something, and then um, whatever I had just read, I would see it in a devotional or. I would see a, the same Bible verse or the same like subject matter, matter somewhere else, and it would be all different places too. And um, so it just kept striking a chord with me. And um, I mean, I flew through the second half of the book because it was really, it felt like I was getting these signs that you know I was going the right direction. Life has been very hard, especially the last few years. But I'm ready for that heavy weight that is always there to be gone. Like 
right. It almost sounds too good to be true, you know. I would love, I would, I would love that to be true. For me, a lot of a, a lot of like what I pinpointed when I was learning about the Enneagram is I project a lot of the, you know, a lot of people look at me and don't see me as angry, but it's because it comes out in the worst ways towards the people I love the most, and and I would love for that to be gone <laughs> and not hurt the people that I care about the most. Baptisms are a methodical and intuitional purification process utilizing the Holy Spirit by way of all the elements of our Mother Earth to exercise all dark energy, sin from the soul, allowing more light to enter, thus making a greater connection with God. Let the purification process begin. It takes an average of 12 baptisms to reach purification. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts. It was like a, a war, like good and evil. Like I could hear the good coaching me and like encouraging me to keep going and or to release or um, and and there would be something that would come to try to combat it I felt I felt the, the darkness leaving my heart I, that heavy darkness I felt that leaving I felt it leaving throughout my entire body <laughs> it's crazy like a huge burst of energy like like it's feels like just a huge burst of energy everywhere and the Holy Spirit do you not know that you are a temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you and I can feel the negative energy leaving and and trying to stay too. I could feel it trying it's so hard to stay. At one point, I was felt like I was like being lifted by my neck, and I couldn't put it down myself. And and I tried a little bit, and I, it got tighter. And and um and then after after that, after you came over and that <laughs> released, then I felt like like a light around me like like actually what I what I, at that moment it was like angel wings it was like right around me and and I, and I just felt you know safe from that moment on awesome I feel like I'm coming back from another world <laughs> Learn the difference between the psychological practice of stirring up and reliving past repressed traumas and attempts to cope with them from releasing the dark energy behind them. The difference is freedom. But if it is by the Spirit of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. The criticism of sin is far heavier than any emotional release. Whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father who is in heaven will also forgive you your transgressions. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father who is in heaven forgive your transgressions. Where to begin? In the beginning, it brought up a lot of abandonment issues, and, um, and that brought up feelings about my dad um, leaving when I was younger. and. Um, came back eventually but it still brought up a lot of that and and I got through it and and forgave him and and got past it and um, and I could the release was a lot of crying a lot of sobbing and um, accountability opens the doors for forgiveness it is the highest form of self-love. After that, 
it took a while. It was almost like I thought it was the worst had passed at that point. And, um, and I kept going and kept going and it got to where like something was trying to scare me. And it was just something demonic looking in my mind, what it looked like. It, it literally put fear into me at that moment. And it was nothing I'd ever felt like that suddenly and just it was it was crazy because the image in my mind was scary and just the the fear it was like I don't know something fighting to stay or making you know trying to make me stop at that moment and um and that one was hard to get through I I'm not sure but I felt like my body was lifting like in certain like I could feel like energy like my body like lifting up and um from there after that passed it was it again thinking like that was probably the worst of it and then it got to just childhood trauma like things that I couldn't even I didn't even know I was holding on to it was um just dark stuff and and things I didn't even remember until like those moments and and just having to let that go and to accept and let it go to forgive other people to forgive myself that was that was a hard one as dark as I thought it had gotten a couple days ago like this was different it felt really good to release it. It felt really good to let go of it afterwards. And I didn't know what, how much of a hold it had on me, how much it affected me without even knowing it or being conscious of it. Um, and after that, I was like a comforting voice, like you were just a kid and like just peace after that. And, um, lots of lots of energy lots of like i felt like my entire body was was just pure energy just on fire but peaceful and calm like i just let go of something that i carried around without even consciously knowing it and it just brought a lot of peace being able to get rid of that and letting that go and today it was like like just blackness like shedding off of my heart just melting away just like i could see it just all little by little just going away and and it like i saw the colors i saw like the the just the magenta the the green the, i felt it and and as that was happening when the when the color just came to to like fully, fully be right there. It was like a, a cloaked figure over me, like, like an angel or um, Jesus was the first thing I thought. It was, I couldn't see a face. It was just a, a cloaked figure, just all light. Presence. Yeah. And I feel amazing. I feel, I feel such peace and, and love. And I had felt peace after some baptisms, but I feel love now. Like fully, fully feel it. Have you ever felt this in your life? No, nothing like this. Do you think this is possible? The closest thing I could compare it to is is when my when my kids were born and, and holding them for the first time. That just feeling of just pure pure love. Perfect love. Perfect love. Mm -hmm. And joy and and peace inside, inner peace. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Anyone who does not know love does not know God, because God is love. 
inner peace itself is hard to find. And then to feel this kind of, this love with it is, it's indescribable. It's amazing. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. I just did my water baptism and I could feel, I could feel things leaving out my hands just the last, like, I guess, impurities. Like it felt like energy coming out of my hands. Like I felt like I could propel myself with it. There was so much at, at some points. Um, Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Flesh is born of flesh, but Spirit is born of Spirit. There was a blue light, and it was, it just it was beautiful. It was, I've, I don't know how to explain it. It was so peaceful and just that's so hard to put into words right this second <laughs> it's it's insane it's amazing <laughs> i can't imagine anything ever anything nothing's ever brought me peace inner peace where that was sustainable, that was, you know, daily. I feel, I, I don't feel the negative weight of emotions that I carried around daily. And I just have this inner peace that it transcends anything I've ever felt. Just a comfort. And I feel light. Describe it. What would it be? Profound. Like the most profound thing you'll ever feel in your life or ever experience in your life. This mystery is profound, and I'm saying that refers to Christ and the church. It's, it's a profound, it's profound the feeling. There's nothing that has ever felt like this. and it's lasting, it's not a fleeting feeling, it's just inner peace and... and joyfulness, just feeling pure joy, like in my heart I feel it and, and it's not provoked by anything, it's just there. State of being. Mm -hmm. yes. um, would you recommend this to people? I wish everybody I love would go through this process. <laughs> I would definitely recommend it to anybody, to anybody who's out there searching. Was it easy? It was not easy, <laughs> but it was worth it. <laughs> What's the hardest part about it? <laughs> um, overcoming, overcoming the mind, overcoming uh, preconceived notions about, um, about everything, about life, about just. The Bible says, lean not on your own understanding. And that, that makes a lot of sense going through this process. I came in thinking I knew a lot about spirituality and I witnessed exorcisms and been there for them, I, just a lot. And there's, there's so much more still that you, you, can't, you can't wrap your mind around it. You have to go through it to understand it. To be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. I've never understood born again until now because it's, I've left behind in the old self completely and I feel like a new person. Like really what born again, you know, is supposed to mean. Do not be amazed that I say to you, you must be born again. I found my sacred heart. <laughs>
The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners. Thank you for watching, and remember, the kingdom of God is found within you. Find your sacred heart. Um, before I got here, I was struggling with um, with a lot of anger, and a lot of it would take very little to trigger me. If you've seen through the process, like I could get triggered very, very easily, and um, and a lot of times that would turn into projecting on on family, on people I love, or or unhealthy coping mechanisms. Um, I, like and I couldn't deal I didn't like being like that I didn't like projecting I didn't like being angry and that would turn into anti-anxiety medication or drinking or whatever I could do to calm that feeling at that moment and so coming into this process I like I told you when I met you it was like I hadn't even fully committed yet but God kept Giving, I kept getting signs, like God wanted me here. And I would get sign after sign, and I would ask him, and I would get confirmations, and, and it just led me here. And my first baptism, the, the heavy weight of emotion that I would carry around all the time, which a lot of times that would turn into anger eventually if, it, if I got pushed. And um, my first baptism, that was gone. And... I haven't felt it in 12 days since that, since that first baptism, which is amazing. Um, even temporary fixes or coping mechanisms would only take it away for a few hours. Just or, numb it, basically. Yeah, just numb what was already there. And um, after that, you know, just seeing like, wow, this is, this is working. This is something. This is something real. And. Um, and I had came in having experiences, seeing exorcism, seeing, and when I see the testimonial videos, it, you know, it looks the same. It is, you know, getting the darkness out of you. And going through the baptisms, you feel that. You feel the darkness leaving you. You feel lighter. And it's something, it's so hard to explain feelings, but um, carrying that around is no joke every day. And then to not, feel it for this is the longest period of time in my life I haven't felt that that weight and it's amazing it's it's insane what are some of the highlights of being here 12 days uh, just highlights um, well during my baptisms uh, it was things that I was holding on to. I didn't know I was holding on to. Things I wasn't even aware of um, just came up. And it was like God working through me, like working out what I didn't even know I needed to work out. And just miraculous things, like um, just feeling, feeling inner peace, seeing um, during a baptism, I saw angel wings around me and I felt it. That was amazing. You know, it's something you don't ever expect to go through or even, you know, think of consciously. And during the baptisms, like like I said, going through things I didn't know I had to deal with, it was like God was, you know, getting everything out. Like every, you know, there was plenty that I was aware of that I needed to deal with. But then when stuff you're not even conscious of comes up, that's that's amazing. That's God working. And there's you can feel the distinct difference between having an emotional release and getting rid of the sin out of the heart. Big difference there, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The sin feels a lot darker, and it's yeah. a lot harder to uh, to get through. I guess it it plays with your mind a little bit while it's happening. Yeah. And you had experience where um, with Jesus, right? When I w was on the beach during that earth baptism. Um, 
laying there, I'd felt something warm, like somebody holding my hand. And when, when it had, I guess, um, when something released, it was like I saw a light and there was a figure over me and it, and I thought, I know it was Jesus and I couldn't see his face. I couldn't, um, make anything out, but, uh, a light, a figure of just light surrounded by more light and his presence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was like in that moment, I just, it was a little bit cool on the beach. And like in that moment, it was just warmth and like, I couldn't feel the temperature anymore. We walked out to the water. I couldn't feel the water wasn't cold to me. Like it was just complete peace and comfort. And, and that was like the first day that I really felt like this deep love, like really, really felt the love. Like other people had described it and I hadn't felt, I had felt peace before that. I had felt different things that were still, you know, new to me and still great, but that was the first time I really felt love. Nice, nice. So if people are looking and watching this video and they're searching, what do you tell them? I want to say when, when you come out of these sessions, you look like you get this look on your face and it's like looking at the testimonials, it looks like you're traumatized or like brainwashed. I don't know, but it looks like you've been through a war and and that's what it is. You're going through a spiritual war and, you know, f you're fighting the things that don't want to leave you. And I would say, you know, it's it's so amazing. The things that you can get rid of that you don't have to live with anymore to to have inner peace is priceless in itself. And then to become closer to God and to know God in a way that you never have before. I mean, you can't put a price on any of that.